Well, fall is in the air. The, the temperature is changing, the winds are picking up, and the pumpkin spice is alive at Starbucks. So uh, it's going to be a great week and a long week and as we celebrate Labor Day on Monday. And so as we think about this weekend and we think about Labor Day, I think about what it means. Labor Day was kind of out there way back in the 1800s as a day to celebrate the American workforce and to really take a day to celebrate it and to rest. And right now during this whole pandemic of life, maybe we just need a day to rest. And maybe as a family, you're going to celebrate and get together uh, with some family or some neighbors to, to do that on that Monday. But as we think about rest, it's nothing new for us as Christians. We think about the Sabbath. We think about what does that mean as a day of rest for you and for me in our faith walk. We look at the seven days of creation, Genesis chapter 2. Um, and it says, and on the seventh day, God finished his work, what he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all of his work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it, God rested from all his work that he had done in creation. Genesis chapter two, uh, two and three. Yeah, this thing of rest. God tells us to rest, to take a Sabbath, to take time to focus on him to kind of slow down a little bit, um, reprioritize things in our life, and, and to just rest. Well, around the world, Monday, that Labor Day, is a day to do that for the workers. But in our day-to-day -day walk, he says daily, weekly, take time for your Sabbath to rest. Matthew talks about Come all who are weary and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Yeah. So as maybe your life right now is maybe a little out of balance like mine is, trying to adjust day to day, trying to figure it out still, or as students, you're trying to figure out life in college or getting ready for high school. Parents, you are in my shoes trying to adjust and plan. And maybe if you're retired, you're too trying to figure out what does this life look like and how can I find rest? So this weekend, my challenge, my prayer for each and every one of you is to take time for rest, but not only rest from work, but to take time to get into God's word, to take that spiritual Sabbath and find rest in Jesus, to ask him to give you peace, to ask him to give you comfort and to ask him to give you direction in the days and the weeks ahead so that you can find peace. So have a great and blessed Labor Day weekend. Enjoy all that comes with it, the cookouts and the festivities that happen. But as we celebrate that, we also celebrate the rest and that Sabbath that we have and that God has asked us to give to him each week. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you on Tuesday. Bye-bye.